What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Drea. If you are new, I would love for you to subscribe and also follow me on my Instagram, which I'll leave right here for you guys. Today's video is going to be my full self-care pamper routine. So I like to do this at least once a week. I always like to just separate either a day, half a day, depending on what my week looks like, especially like during the weekends. I like to take just some time to do a little extra self care and that includes face mask body masks body scrubs oils like i always like to have a really good routine but there's just one day out of the week where i go like extra 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 so without any further ado let's get right into this video so when i get home from the gym the first thing i like to do is always wash my face so much sweat bacteria and dirt can get accumulated and it can cause breakouts. And I usually like to put that on a Foreo device or one of the silicone pads that are super affordable. They sell them on Amazon for like five bucks for a pack of three or four. And it just gently exfoliates and removes any makeup, any dirt, and any sweat that you might have on your skin. And then once a week, I do like to go in with a facial razor and this is called derma planning. And you definitely have to be careful because you can't cut your face. These little blades are super, super sharp. You can buy these at any beauty supply or on Amazon, and I absolutely love doing this. It basically takes off all the dead skin and all the peach fuzz that you might have on your skin. It's gonna allow your skincare products to absorb deeper into the skin, and it'll also help your makeup look a lot smoother and just apply a lot more evenly on the skin. So after derma planning, I like to go in with a little facial oil and a gua sha. If you don't have a gua sha, you can just use your fingers. This is gonna help a lot with depuffing. It's gonna help move all the fluid and toxins that are stuck in your face. And we do have lymphatic drainage points in our face. These can be activated in order for your body to get rid of these toxins. So there's a ton of videos on how to do facial massaging. A lot of the times I just put a video on and I follow along to it. Every time I do this, you can see a significant difference from one side of my face to the other. My cheekbones just look so much more lifted. My eyes look wider. And I feel like it's amazing at naturally like contouring the structure of your face. So when you do facial massaging, it doesn't really matter what movements you like to do. It depends on the person. But as long as you're using some kind of oil that has a really nice glide that's not going to tug on your skin and also just doing upward motion. So you never want to tug your skin downwards because we already have gravity against us. So we want to avoid that as much as possible. So after I do my facial massaging, I like to run a really nice hot bath and I add some type of Epsom salts or any kind of bath salts in there because usually I'm pretty sore from my weekly workouts and I like to just sit in there for a little while. Of course, for the purpose of the video, I had all my lights on, but I really like to turn off all the lights, maybe light a candle or some incense and really just disconnect and not have my phone around me. Also adding a few drops of essential oil can really help you relax something like lavender oil because I feel like it just gives it such a nice relaxing and like warm scent. So I like to stay in the bath for anywhere between 15 to 25 minutes. Today I decided to do a body scrub in the bathtub as well. Normally I do this when I'm in the shower while I let my hair mask just soak into my hair. I'm using the Perlite coconut body scrub and this one is amazing it leaves my skin feeling so soft so moisturized going in with a body scrub is super important especially if you're going to be going in with a self tanner afterwards it's definitely key to getting a really smooth tan without any blotchiness or any dry patches and then once i'm done with my body scrub i'm basically done with my bath and i go into my shower so the first thing I like to do when I jump in the shower is to shampoo my hair. I'm sure you guys have heard me say this a million times, but when it comes to hair care, it's just like skincare, not one size fits all, and everyone's hair type is different, and our hair goals are also different. In this video, I did partner up with Function of Beauty to share with you guys how you can create your own customized shampoo and conditioner that's gonna help take care of all of your hair concerns and your hair goals, and it's gonna be made specifically for your hair type. Originally, I was drawn to this brand because of their packaging and just the concept of it. You 
you get the cutest little bottles and it does say function of Drea. So it is my formula that's made specifically for me. This is the shampoo and conditioner. So this is the only shampoo that I have been using for the past month and a half and I am obsessed. So the way that function of beauty works is that you go online and you basically fill out a two minute quiz that is gonna outline all of your hair goals and your hair concerns to make the best formula possible for your hair type and your hair goals. You can just choose to not have any fragrance or any color if you are sensitive to any kind of dyes or scents. I personally pick the pink one because I think that the hair is so cute. If you choose to get the mask, which I did get, it's this one right here. And this one is basically just a really hydrating and like moisturizing mask for your hair. This isn't something that you use every time you shower, but I do like to use this once a week on my hair when I do like my whole pampering session. When I put this on my hair after conditioning my hair, it feels so soft. My hair just feels so bouncy and like just healthy. So the Function of Beauty products have no parabens or sulfates, no GMOs, no toxins, and they are 100% cruelty-free and vegan. Ever since I started using Function of Beauty, I have noticed such a huge difference in my hair. Whenever I blow dry it, it's just so volumizing. Like my hair has so much volume and hold, which normally is not the case for me. If you're interested in getting 100% customized shampoo and conditioner, as well as hair masks or hair oils, make sure to check the description box below. I will have a link for you guys where you can get 20% off your order on Function of Beauty. So while I let the hair mask work its magic for a good 10 to 15 minutes, I do like to go in with the body wash called body clear and it's from Neutrogena. This is an absolute must in my shower routine. I don't remember the last time I didn't use this. I've been using this for probably over five or six years and I use this every time after I finish working out because it does have 2% salicylic acid which is going to help get rid of any breakouts or any bumps that you might have on your back, on your arms, or your chest from excessive sweating or just having like products seep into your pores while you're working out. It's like seven or eight dollars a bottle and I stuck up every time that Ulta has a sale. I get a few bottles and I go through them like crazy. And then towards the end of my shower, I rinse off my hair mask and that is pretty much all I do as far as my shower routine goes. Once I'm done with the shower, I put on my hair turban and this one is from Aquis. I've raved about this for so many years. It's such a lifesaver when it comes to drying my hair because I have a lot of hair, so it takes forever to dry sometimes. And I like to let my hair air dry as much as possible, but if I don't use this, my hair will take like four to five hours to dry. It also helps reduce frizz. It helps reduce breakage from when your hair is wet because if you're putting a lot of tension and weight on your hair from like those really big fluffy bath towels you are going to cause breakage on your hair so you want to prevent that as much as possible i use them every single time that i get out of the shower and i wash my hair i've been using a product that is called high frequency and my mom used to own a spa so she used to use this product on me all the time and i remember when i was younger i used to be like yeah okay whatever it clears acne but then I actually used it on my acne and I was like, oh my God. And I'm sure if you guys have gone to get a professional facial, you have seen your esthetician use this on you. It basically is a high frequency tool that just kills the bacteria from under. So if you ever feel like you have those painful pimples, that is bacteria that's just stuck under your skin that's causing inflammation and it's causing the pain. So this machine is gonna help zap that from like inside out. This one that I have that I show in the video is the one that my mom used to use at the spa, so I didn't buy it, but you guys can buy it on Walmart or Amazon. They have a bunch of different ones online and they're not expensive, but they work so well. And the reason why I'm mentioning this now, this now is because I've had the worst skin since November, December, I wanna say, and I'm just starting to clear it now and I wasn't able to do that until I started using high frequency again, which basically reminded me of why it's so so amazing and I'm actually gonna film a separate video on this and how I was able to clear my skin in the last few months I also took pictures of the roller coaster ride that my skin took because it was horrible like when I say horrible I mean horrible it only takes about four to five minutes to do my entire face I put a little gauze on my face and then I basically just glide the high frequency tool over my face I swear by this and I will never stop using it ever again because this last time that I started using it on all my breakouts I realized how magical of a tool this is and it's honestly life-changing so I go in with that and then I go in with my skincare 
So after I finish doing the high frequency, I like to go in with some kind of face mask. So this obviously depends on the day and how my skin is feeling. Recently, I've been struggling a lot with breakouts and leftover dark spots. So I like to do some kind of exfoliating peel at least once a week. In this video, I went in with the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. And this is actually a pretty strong but gentle peel compared to some other ones like the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial, which is a little bit stronger than this one. So once I apply the mask and I basically exfoliate my face with it, it tells you to leave it for about three to seven minutes. And while I let this mask sit or any kind of other face mask i go in with my epilady and this is called silica pill and it's basically like waxing but electric <laughs> i've been using this machine for as long as i can remember one of the best things that i have ever tried after laser hair removal because i understand not everyone can afford laser hair removal and even if you do get laser hair removal like i have you know that you still have some leftover hair like little stragglers here and there that just never <laughs> want to go away and going back for maintenance sessions can just get really really expensive so if you have fine hair or even if you can just take the pain for the first few times i would definitely suggest using this it's actually pretty affordable and you can buy it on amazon and this one is so powerful and it's amazing for traveling i take this everywhere when i travel once i'm done with the epilady i go ahead and i rinse off my face mask i pat dry my skin and i go into my skincare. So a staple in my skincare is the CE Ferulic Vitamin C Serum from SkinCeuticals. It has been for years and I am absolutely obsessed with it. It is on the expensive side, but it's just so potent and it's pharmaceutical grade, so it's gonna work wonders for your skin. It's helped brighten up my skin, get rid of dark spots, and just bring that like really radiant and youthful look to my skin. For eye cream, I have been using the Kate Somerville Retinol Eye Serum, and I apply this every single morning and every single night to my under eyes. I love that it has a little application pad that is just really cooling to the touch, and it helps massage and depuff the eyes as it applies the eye serum. So I really like that, especially in the mornings. Then I move on to moisturizer. I'm going in with the SkinCeuticals Triple Lipid Restore Cream. This one also is on the pricier side because SkinCeuticals is just a pharmaceutical grade skincare line, but it's so good. It's really buttery and creamy, and I feel like it just really helps seal in any moisture and hydration to my skin. Then I go in with my Laneige lip mask and this has to be one of my favorite skincare products. I've had this for so long and this was the first jar I ever purchased. I think it was like 14 or maybe $18 and it's lasted me forever and I use this every single night before I go to bed and my lips just wake up feeling so juicy and so plump. Then I top all this off with my Biosans tea tree oil and I like to basically just put a few drops on my hand and then pat it into my skin to just basically seal in everything that we just applied. Moving on to body care. Two body butters that I have been completely obsessing over are the cocoa butter from Trader Joe's. It smells like coconut and pineapple and just like a beach. It smells like, yeah, you're on vacation. And then there's another brand that I wanna mention because that's more of like the affordable side of body butters. And then this one's just like luxury, luxury. This one is called Rodin and this is their luxury face oil, which I have yet to try, but the other products are in my bathroom and I don't wanna go get them. But I've been using their cream and their body oil and it's to die for. Like it smells so good. It smells like geranium and orange and it, I can't even explain the smell. It just smells like so relaxing. Every time I put that on before bed, I'm just like, and it is expensive. So it's definitely with just like a luxury brand and I'm obsessed, obsessed. So we're basically done with our pampering routine. I like to turn off all my lights. I turn on my salt lamp. And this has been a routine that I've implemented over the last few weeks because I was really struggling with my sleep. I try to still stay away from my, my phone as much as possible. And I have been loving just playing really relaxing playlists on Spotify. They have amazing ones like Deep Sleep. They also have nature sounds and they have rainforest sounds, which are a favorite of mine to wake up to. I like to just get in bed with Oliver and 
relax for a little bit and disconnect if it is still early i'll go in and i'll watch some youtube videos i'll do a little bit of work on the computer I like to listen to podcasts watch a documentary or even just my favorite netflix show at the moment and then there are other times where i'm already just super super sleepy and it's time for bed Alrighty guys, so that's it for my self-care and self-pampering video. This obviously varies every week. Sometimes I don't have time to do everything. Sometimes I do more. But this was just like a really average and I guess like my most common self-care routine. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to check out the description box to get 20% off your first order on Function of Beauty if you are interested in getting customized shampoo and conditioner and also other hair products and also any other product that I mentioned in this video will be linked in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I will see you guys later.